What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video and today I want to do another part to a series that I'm actually really starting to like. The good, the bad, and the fugly. So this is part three. I think I'm just going to kind of do this periodically throughout the, the Call of Duty season. Um, and just kind of give a review every once in a while what's going on, what's working, what's not working, and things like that. So things that aren't working. I mean... Most of the good things in this game have kind of stuck. Like, the specialists are still extremely balanced. The guns are still, for the most part, extremely balanced. But there's a couple things that are still really annoying the shit out of me. So, they have done a couple little balancing things here and there. But the Dracon absolutely needs to be fixed. So, if you guys didn't know, and you guys should definitely check out Drifter if you guys are not subscribers of Drifter. He did a video where he proved that suppressors on sniper rifles have no negative attributes. So, no range penalty, no damage penalty, nothing that absolutely affects the gun except for it makes it suppressed. So, basically, you stick a suppressor on a Dracon, and it becomes this powerhouse of a gun that is absolutely silent. So... Ugh. I'm just, I've been so frustrated the last couple days getting on multiplayer, and there's a couple key maps where, like, people can literally just sit there with the Dracon, and it just, it wrecks everyone. So, not only do I think the suppressor needs some form of a nerf, but I think at the same time the Dracon needs, like, a range penalty or something like that to keep it from just absolutely melting people. So... I decided I was going to pick up the gun and go use it myself and see what happened. And I went like 24 and 10 and I don't even snipe. You can literally just sit on a head glitch and pick people off. And the gun, it just, it shoots so unbelievably fast and it's so unbelievably strong. It's annoying. So, that's my ugly, my fugly, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really, really honestly want that gun to be fixed, nerfed, something. But I hope they also, at the same time, don't over-nerf it. If it felt more like the SVU in Black Ops 2, I wouldn't really, like, be complaining. But it seems like the Dracon is just, like, a melt machine and it really obviously needs fix. So, other than that, um, the spawn mechanics in the game are still kind of rough. So, especially in Domination, if... I don't... I, it doesn't feel like the other Call of Duties did. So, if you push over into their spawn, the spawns don't flip fast enough, in my opinion. So, what happens is, is there's a bunch of people that'll push up into your spawn, keep you and pick you off as you're spawning, and you just keep spawning there. And then, after five or six deaths, the spawn eventually flips, and then they do the same thing, and it just becomes, like, a completely unfair advantage if you're on that team that's just a little bit stronger, or a little bit more set up, or if you're in a team... Going against like a pre-made team, you're pretty much absolutely going to, yeah, it's messy. So, I think the spawns are also something that just, it really needs to be twerked. And that's something that every single Call of Duty has had an issue with. So, it's something that like in the algorithm that is extremely difficult. I personally have no fucking idea how they even get it to do what it does now. Let alone how to fix that. Um, but something needs to be fixed, especially in Domination. In Safeguard, I mean, you can't really, it's, it's like Capture the Flag, you can't flip the spawns, but Safeguard, you just get your shit pushed in if you're on the bad team. So, other than that, I think everything else is still going really well. Um, a couple of the new weapons that got added, like the wrench and everything, seem to be really, really nice. And they've actually improved a lot on the supply drops, in my opinion. Something that they did, it just, it, it feels like I'm getting more rewards like i'm getting more camos and things that i actually care about like the taunts and the camos are pretty much the only things that i'm going after and maybe like some of the specialist gear and things like that um but i'm getting less of like the decals and the reticles and i don't know if it's just me getting lucky or if they actually change something that makes it so we're getting more things that actually pertain to gameplay like the little tiny variants of the attachments i i think are absolutely stupid but whatever so I think that's working out really well, but there are still, as I said, a couple things that need to be worked on. But hopefully by the next time I do another one of these videos, we have some more uh, positive feedback. But uh, I still really like the game. I, I'm not, like, trashing it in any way, shape, or form. There's just a couple things that are slightly frustrating. So if you guys like the video, as always, please leave a like rating. And uh, yeah, YouTube. I'll see you soon.